Hello, hello to the amazing people, the Niamh here, and welcome to another episode of Limbo's Company, an amazing gacha from a Project Moon, where you put together teams of sinners and do turn-based combat. So I'm uh, doing the Valpurgis Night event, and I finished all the objectives on easy, and today we're gonna go into hard and try to do some of the objectives there. Uh, I will start with uh, killing the abnormality with, uh, with burn, bleed... Let me find the thing. Defeat a fairy queen with burn, bleed, rupture, or sinking damage in a single encounter. So that one I'll be doing first. That's the last one I did on easy. So yeah, let's go into the heart. Predation. His stomach and face were ripped off and his eyeballs and organs were damaged as if they were eaten by something. Meanwhile, the fairies had summoned blood and flesh smeared all over their mouths. So yeah, the fairies can care or eat depending on how you treat them. And uh, yeah, we're going to enter the book here. So I'm gonna go with uh, Roger again because she has a very good uh, sinking um, ego, which uh, I can uh, use to get a lot of sinking damage on the enemy. Yeah, I'm gonna use the same group as I used for, well, will I? Maybe it's a little bit too much. Maybe I want like a little bit more power. Mm, yeah. Should I grab like... Ryushu's good, right? Let's grab Ryushu. Let's go a little bit more in on the power side. Although that will significantly reduce the amount of uh, purple generation. But let me see. How much purple does this thing need anyway? Uh, three. Ah, it's decent amount. Okay, let's go with same team then. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. But yeah, hard is going to be harder. I'm not sure I'm going to have an easy time like dealing with its abilities and everything but if I'll struggle then I, I can grab somebody stronger let's see uh, dominating neutral yeah I'll just see I'm gonna have to intervene but that's fine <laughs> let's start with this one neutral favorite okay we can get a favorite in the last one that's fine I guess how are you doing on these favorite favorite dominating you can go dominating there I guess then you mm, I'm kind of slow though yeah, what are you attacking? You're attacking there. Okay, you can defend with that. Good. And you are going there. I guess we go like... I can do this. Like that. Favorite. And then the big bad. Let's see. Neutral. I'm struggling. That's not good. She has. She starts with 15 sanity. Why is that? Oh, probably because of this thing. Heal 15 SP at start. Inflicts double the amount of potency and count for burn. Inflicts the double amount of potency and count for burn, bleed, rapture, sinking, and tremor. When an enemy is defeated, two allies, including this unit, with the least SP, heal 25 SP. On kill, gain plus two eagle resource for the affinity that defeated the enemy. Oh, well, that's pretty good. But sadly, neutral is the best I can get. I can get like a favorite there, but yeah. I think if I can't do anything else, I should probably smack these guys down. So they get killed. So I guess we like take this damage. Okay. Right, let's go. But yeah, hard is hard and my team are not the best clashers ever. But I chose this team so I can feed the Rhyme Shank. I only need to do it like for this objective where uh, I want to kill the, the fairy with the the thing. Bam. Excruciating study. There we go. Nice. Hut! Hut! And I also need to get up to 40 uh, effects. Maybe I should have clashed there. Ah, okay. Okay, it's gonna eat them, right? No, it's not gonna eat them. It's gonna eat this one. But only eats it if it's staggered. Fairy mass devoured zero. There is also a mission to like do the encounter. 
without it ever eating any fairy mass. So that means you always have to kill the ones which have prepared meat on them. And yeah, and he does summon more of them. Right, uh, so let's see. Yeah, I'm like a little bit light and light blue, haha. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, this one's staggered. I can probably leave it staggered or hit it once or twice to get it close to killing. Like, but I do want it to like eat them, right? Gain one if this unit fails to defeat an ally with prepared meat. Lose one if this unit defeat an ally with prepared meat. Yeah, I should like do a lot of damage to these to prevent it. Can you like win anything? Not really. Favorite, dominating, neutral. I should probably defeat stuff with her because if she defeats, gain plus two resources for the affinity that defeated the enemy. Yeah, she wants to be defeating the fairy things, actually. Yeah, that's not great. I mean, I can defend if nothing else. There's no rush. Okay, favorite defense dominating. That's fine. This might not defeat though. If it's not defeating, it's probably better to like that. Is somebody clashing that? No, it's not. Okay. Alright. It's not trivial. That's for sure. Floral, floral breeze. Wing beat. Okay, she's on 45, so... Yeah, the thing is, she's a good clasher, so I kind of want to use her for clashing. But then, on the other hand, I also want to use her for killing the small things, so... Or at least staggering the ones which are marked for hunger, so the thing eats them. So it doesn't eat us. There you go. Okay. And it's down to two now. I, won I wonder if, like... If the ally with prepare me to stagger to kill the ally, right? After defeating an ally, heal 20 core HP, then gain one fragile next turn. All sinners heal 10 SP and gain plus one eager resource for all affinities. Okay, so we're getting everything every turn, so shouldn't be too hard to get the Rhyme Shang going anyway, so. Inflict one prepared meat to random ally without prepared meat. Okay. Right, so we want to get a kind of low then. Yeah, this is a turn where... Okay, I want to find somebody who's going to have good chance against this thing. Dominating, neutral, dominating, there we go. And then let's see. There. Who goes there? There we go. Who goes there? Uh, yeah. I need to prepare them for killings because I don't want the, the hunger to get out of hand. So every time it does like a defensive turn like that, I should like... Uh, make sure that uh, we put some good damage onto the minions. There. And like, it ate all of them, right? Yeah, and now it has zero hunger, which is good. Defense level minus 22 and 6 fragility. Okay. Offense level minus 18. Okay. A 3 plus hunger, coin power plus 1. Okay. Okay, to a random ally. K 
Okay, it's just two defenses. Okay, I think it's time to start doing the... The Rhyme Shank thing. And we're gonna do that to the... Does it matter to which arm? Well, I guess to the arm which already has some, right? Okay. This already has set nine counts, so I'm gonna go for the right arm this time. There. I'm gonna stack up this thing to like absurd levels. Okay. And then... I wonder... Like, my highest HP is 228. Its left arm has 234. Its body has 1.6k, its right arm has 262. I wonder if I cast the... If I... Do this. Targets the unit with the most HP. Oh no, this will always go for the body. Right? Yeah, this will always go for the body. But it's gonna do like... Inflict, it's gonna inflict 10 thinking and 8 thinking count. And it's gonna double. It's gonna be 16 sinking. Like, is that better than the other way around? I don't know. Probably. But this thing has weight of 3, so. Weird stuff's gonna happen now, but let's see. <laughs> Maybe it goes down the hill. I don't know. I kind of don't wanna attack the right arm and the. the left arm because I want them to have higher HP than. Uh, than she does. And again, let's uh, make sure these things are nice and where are you going? To Faust. Okay, you can dominate it, that's fine. I tried to kill that thing. Uh, go for this one. There. How much damage will this be? 4 to 11 and 6 to 19. It's probably fine. I mean, I could also defend, I guess. But I want some damage here. Will this do? I don't know. Nah, let's go like this. Why can't I go? Okay. All right. Let's see what the the rhyme shank does. Never used the overclock version. At least I don't think so. So this will be the first time on the channel. Lo and behold, no. <clears throat> Lo and behold, the the corroded rhyme shank. Dum, da, 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 da. Stay frozen, and there will be no pain. So now, the point of this thing is not damage, but rather to take whole bu put a whole bunch of sinking on it. I probably should have guarded first and then did the ram shank, but that's okay. Okay, hunger zero still, that's fine. Uh, okay, so now... The body has 12, 16 thinking, but this one has 7 and 1, and the right arm. 21 and 24, so the right arm has even more. Did one of us get hit by that? No. So my question is, why does this one only have 7 and 1? Because it should have hit 3 things. I guess it's still the best to just go for the right arm here, 21, 24. Well, they are about the same. So I don't have enough for another Rhyme Shank. I'm gonna need some more light blues to do that, but that's okay. So now, now I wanna steadily increase this 21, 24 on the right arm. Inflict one sinking count, one sinking count. 
If target has 6 plus sinking, cause sinking deluge. No, I don't want to cause sinking deluge. Inflict 1 sinking count next turn. Inflict plus 2 sinking count next turn. This doesn't do anything. This. On hit, inflict 5 sinking count and then 3 sinking. Yeah, I want to use this ability. 5 sinking count, 3 sinking. Three more sinking. Yeah, this thing goes here. Let's sink it. Okay, where are you going to Faust? Can you fight it off? You can. Okay. Then let's see. This thing. Can you take it? You can. Good. Okay, that's light blue. That's good. Uh, and then, okay, that one's taken care of. Like, a purple is good, kind of, but I also want to attack these things. I guess we can do it next turn. And then you, if you can do blue, would be good. Mm. I kind of want to defeat one of these so we get a whole bunch of stuff, right? Yeah. So hopefully this force doesn't kill it. We'll see. This one is not blocked, but that's fine. All right. I should be doing lots of damage just because of the sinking that we are like accumulating. That's pretty good. I like that. It's also, it's not like just an objective that I'm doing, right? It's like also, hey, this is a good way to actually do damage to it. Although I totally destroyed it on my first hard attempt when I uh, brought in my uh, A team, but hey. Still not that. Ugh. And now it ate it. Okay, right arm. 27, 26. Okay. What is it doing? It's giving... Okay. Oh, these are pretty powerful. Uh... So first things first, I need to like win these. How likely is this? It says dominating, but it's only one coin ability, which I'm not super comfortable with. This seems much better, actually. Right arm. Yeah, I'm gonna do another rhyme shank there. Okay, favor dominating. Okay, it's gonna hit these two, which is great. Dominating. Dominating. I mean, I also kind of wanna go for him, right? But we need to stagger this so the hunger doesn't grow. That's fine. Yeah, but then we get smacked, which I don't want to happen. Okay. Favored. Not super happy with favored, but maybe it's okay. All right. <clears throat> it's going to have so much sinking on it soon. I just have to be careful not to deluge it. Left arm is also in a kind of a bad shape. So as long as it's keeping, it keeps eating its friends, it's like very, very vulnerable. There we go, nice. Credo. 186 damage. I, I think we're getting really close to the point where we can <laughs> send somebody to do some serious damage. 
We're talking about like over 100 damage now with, with each like ability which has multiple coins. Okay. How are my people? Nobody has bleed or anything like that, no. Oh wait, actually, I do also have like an objective to kill multiple enemies at once. And she needs to do it, right? Yeah. So maybe I can also set up for that while I'm at it. So this one will get eaten if it's staggered. So I want to do that. I need to like get these three low. I think it's easier with him, right? With this ability. But he needs to be like an honorable thing or whatever, like the leader. I think I just do one objective here so I don't mess it up. Right arm. Yeah, I just keep stacking this thing onto the right arm. Uh, let's see. This gives count. This gives six sinking. That's pretty good. Put that on the right arm. There we go. And then... Let's see. I can defeat this thing. Get a whole bunch of resources. That's pretty good. And then we try to clash against these. Uh, where is this thing going? To Faust? Can you fight it off? No. There we go. And then we have these two left. Dominating. Neutral. I can use that. There. Right, height. <laughs> this might be one of the harder ones, right? To kill the enemy with sinking, burn, tremor, or whatever the last one is. So yeah, that's why I want to get it out of the way. It's the only one I didn't do it by accident on, on when I played it on, on easy. Okay, I'm gonna get like a lot of light blue there, so probably be able to put the thing up again. Bird's eye view. Okay. This hunger still at zero. Bottomless hunger. <laughs> okay. Let's see. How's your how's your right arm, dude? 43, 34. Uh Okay, so I have another, for, enough for another one. I mean... Do I want to try killing them next round with her? I mean, I could, right? We just let this through and just damage these as much as we can. I mean, how good will this evade be? 3 to 6, 5 to 6. Yeah, why is this so bad against evade? Who would have the best chance? Four to seven, five to eleven. Is that the best one we had so far? Probably. There. So basically I want to get them as low as possible this turn. So the next turn I can... can try to AoE them down. But yeah, again, I'm getting greedy here, but okay. That's too much, though. Let's 
way too much. Because we got another couple of attacks in. Oh boy. Should have sent her on the boss though. Please don't kill it. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's also that. Okay. Well, at least they're not gonna get the hunger buffs. Okay, one of them has the thing. Um, so we stagger it. Yeah, let's just go for it. Another one. Onto the right arm. In there, and then... To sinking count, sure. And then let's stop the attacks, I guess. Um, this is the fastest one, so let's do him. And then stagger this one. Favorite, dominating, okay. Okay, 9 to 25 and 4 to 12. That's not too bad. Okay. Yeah, let's let's do this because it's like almost 30 minutes already. Like funny how time flies when you're playing this game, especially if you're doing something weird like I'm doing it this time today. And this thing is gonna start getting more and more hunger though. 189 damage. That's way more than I expected. Wait, did I attack the right... I didn't attack the right arm. Attack the left one? Wait, what? That was a mistake, but okay. I guess we just go for it now. Okay, so 8, 7, 9. So let's go check its right arm. It has 53, 45. I mean, that's pretty decent. Okay. There we go, that's the right arm. Good. Okay. I mean... I could try to do the thing, right? Actually do it next round. Combat start. Inflict one prepared meat to a random ally. Oh, no, 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 I can't do it. It's at the start of combat. Okay, how much will this do damage? 42 to 85. Okay. Not enough, but... Um... I can do it like this. Right? So as long as these two pairs don't kill these two and just stagger them and she can finish them off, that would be it. Let's try. No, they're gonna die. Too much damage. Why are we doing so much damage, dude? Actually, not enough damage. What in the world? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only, she only killed two. Alright. And now we get the same thing, actually. I can keep trying, because this thing doesn't do anything, but its hunger is growing, though, as long as we keep killing this. Yeah. Let's not mess around. Where's your right arm? 
there. So I just need to stagger these so it eats them, right? So its hunger goes down. Uh, let me see something. Deal SP damage by sinking count times sinking potency, then remove sinking. If target SP is 45 or lower, the excess SP damage is dealt as gloom affinity HP damage. Unit with no sanity, take all of it as gloom HP damage. Would this work? I'm not sure actually. Thinking count times thinking potency. I mean, that would be a lot of damage. Do you want to risk it though? I, I don't. There. It's gonna be a lot of damage already. Okay. Alright. Hopefully they don't kill it. But I mean the last strike will be sinking damage, so we'll see. Dum -da -dum -dum -da -da -dum. Okay, seven, eight, five, six, nine, four. <laughs> like each hit now deals like around one hundred damage of gloom type. I wonder how strong is it against gloom. Let's see, right arm. 69, no, it does 69 damage each attack. 447. Are you resistant to gloom? No, it's actually. This is. No, this is gloom, right? Okay. Right, 447. So I need to keep smacking it. Uh, to the right arm. So this will do like 160 more. Okay, we just let this one through, right? Yeah, we just focus on the small dudes here. Keep destroying them. So it can eat them up. Right? And who knows, maybe by accident we even do the thing, but it's probably not. The best chance I had when she was going last. And then... Whoa! That was a lot. But that was together with the gloom damage. From the sinking. Wait. AoEs, I totally forgot about those. Dude, <laughs> almost killed it. Okay, and I guess that's it. It has 104 health and hit on the right arm does 79. So as long as I do like 30 damage and not kill it, that should be it. Twenty-one to forty-eight. Twenty-one to sixty-three. Oh no, I need a single coin ability actually. Thirty-one. Thirty-one plus seventy-nine is one hundred and ten. So this should be enough.
right arm. 38, 31 to 58. And 58 is not enough. Okay, this should be it. What is cast? I'm gonna kill you with an axe boomerang. I couldn't undo a thing. Fifty-eight, and then it dies from the, and then it dies from the gloom damage, <clears throat> and hopefully this counts because I don't want to do this again. <laughs> uh... Oh, let Fairy Queen defeat three Fairy Mass within a single turn of a single encounter. Great. That's good. Let Fairy Queen defeat a Fairy Mass in single encounter. Ten. Nice. We did that one as well. Uh, inflict X Potency 40 burn. Nice. Defeat the Fairy Queen with burn, bleed, rapture, or sinking damage. That's the one I was really focusing on. There we go. And yeah, we have four missions left. No, three missions left. Yeah, the one is complete all the other missions. So complete suppression without the fairy queen defeating any of the fairy masses. Okay, that one's gonna be annoying, but I guess we just go for the boss. It's gonna be very hungry and very dangerous, but that's fine. Librarian of History defeats. So yeah, we're gonna need somebody with a good AoE attack to kill the three fairies at the same time. So yeah, we choose the person with the best AoE attack, then use the others to soften it up, and then this person finishes them off. And I guess it's best to prepare them on the turn where the enemy does not make them mark them with hunger. But it's always gonna mark somebody at least, right? Complete suppression with Labrador of History surviving and taking less than 5 hits from the enemies. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have somebody who's never gonna get hit by just... Right? Okay, maybe one or more two videos and then I'm done. Today is the 7th of May, so I have nine more days, so I should be fine. <laughs> cool, that's gonna be it for the episode, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I wish you all to have a wonderful day, do some nice things, be kind to each other, and let's make the world a better place together. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode of Limbus Company, the Niemer signing out. Bye-bye.